Hi guys, so what I'm doing today is just showing you um, how to copy pictures and put them into Schoology for tests for kids and some of the other options that you would do when you enter a question into Schoology. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to copy an image and then some multiple choice answers and then I'll go to a different um, format of question too. Now I have exam view opened up but you can use any you know test generator that you have, you can use a test that you found, questions and pictures that you find online, you can use a Google Doc, anything, because this snipping tool works for everything. So the first thing I'm going to do is I, I need to copy this image, and it does go to multiple questions, but I'm only going to use it for this first one. And what I'm going to do is go down to this magnifying glass down here, in case you've never used the snipping tool. In the, on the Mac computer, you're going to want to hit Command Shift 4, and it will do the same thing the snipping tool does. But if you have a Windows uh, operating system like I do, you go down, you hit the magnifying glass, and you type in snipping. And you don't really have to type the whole thing in because it comes up. And then you hit the desktop app, and it gives you this screen. And so I'm going to go ahead, usually this screen will go up and, and, and show you something there, but I'm going to hit new. And then I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to copy this image. Okay? And then I just tend to save them. I mean, you can create a folder for each one you want, but I'm just going to save these to the desktop, but I just do a save quick, a quick save as, and I'm going to put one. Just hit enter. Then I'm going to hit new again. Once I come back up here and it lets me. All right, so I've got it new again. Um, I could just type this sentence, but I'm going to go ahead and put it here just for the sake of showing you how we, how I do it. Um, I'm going to save this one, and I'm going to say one Q on this because it's the question. Um, so it's just, it's kind of whatever you want to save it as, one Q, all right? Then um, I'm going to hit new again because I see in my multiple choice responses, I see some notation that might be hard to recreate. So I'm just going to take a quick picture, and I don't capture the letter because I like to let Schoology scramble questions and answers. So right now, I'm just going to capture this, and I'm going to call it, oops, I did that wrong, sorry. Let me do it again. I'm gonna come here and I'm going to capture that again because I just deleted it instead of saved it. Okay, all right. And I'm gonna save as 1A. Okay, then I'm gonna do another one as soon as it lets me. New, and I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna capture this one. Now you'll notice on C and D it's just letters, so I, I could just go ahead and do that, but for the sake of what I'm showing you, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep on my pattern. Because you can do this with uh, graphs. You can, you can take pictures of the graphs if that's the choice for the answer. And then I'm gonna do another new, and I'm just gonna capture N, call it 1C. And then I'm gonna do one more. And I'm going to capture it and call it 1D. File save as 1D. Okay. All right. And that ends that for that question. I'll do another question in a little bit, but I want to take you now to the Schoology screen. So now you'll see here, I'm in my practice course because I'm just building this to show you guys how to do it. But um, I've already built my quiz, and now it's... Uh, I'm going to come in here, and, and if you need help building a quiz, it's not that big of a deal. You just add, uh, it's the green. So if I go in here and I say, um, let me actually show you that just in case. So I am adding this particular one. So when I go in, I'm adding this material. It's the green puzzle quiz. Funny how I love green, so it just happens to work perfectly for me. So let me go back into it. I've already set my fake due date and all that good stuff, but the key here is to add the question. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a question, and this one is multiple choice. So I'm gonna come in here and put multiple choice. And I'm going to go ahead and go over here to where it says insert content. And I'm gonna start with the question because that's gonna be at the top of my file. So I'm gonna go on here and I'm gonna search for one Q, which is my question. And it's gonna load. Okay, and so that's there. Then I'm gonna go down. I'm just gonna go down at one space and I'm gonna insert content again and I'm gonna say an image media again. And I'm gonna go and get my image. 
and upload it there. And so you can see it there. Then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to upload. So it says use rich text editor. I'm doing that so that I can actually come and download a picture. So I go in here again and this will get me 1A. So there's 1A. And then I hit save. I'm going to come down here again. I'm going to hit use rich text editor. And again, I'm going to go insert content. I'm going to go get 1B. I know this is terribly exciting for all of you. Okay, waiting for it to attach. Okay, hit save changes. Then I'm going to go to the uh, same thing for here. And I'm going to go to 1C. Okay, save changes. And then 1D. Again, rich text editor. I don't need that on the letter. I could just type it in there, but I'm just kind of showing you. I get in the habit of doing it. So I'm going to attach 1D. Okay. And hit save changes. Then I've got to come up here and just pick my correct answer. Okay. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to randomize the choices. And there's really no timing the question or allowing partial credit. You've got all those options, but you don't have to do it. So now I'm creating my question. Okay. Now when I go into it, I can also do a preview of this. I can hit preview, start new attempt, and then all my answer choices are there. And then I would just pick and it would scramble the answers. So that kind of gives you that idea. And now I want to take you to a different kind of question so the kids can answer um, using the rich text editor as well. So now I'm going to add a question that is a short response question. And so I picked this basic algebra problem and I'm going to use my snipping tool and I'm going to go grab it. Okay. And then I'm going to save it. And I'm just going to say question. Oops. If I know how to spell question. Okay, then I'm going to go, I'm going to leave this quiz right now. I'm going to go to Schoology and I'm going to add a question and it's going to be a short answer question. And I already know that it's going to be, you know, please solve the following equation for the variable C. And I'm going to go get my question. And I'm going to attach it. So where's my question? Right there. Okay. And again, we have to wait for it to attach. All right. So there's my question. But then I'm going to come down here. I'm not going to have a character limit. But I'm going to allow rich text answers for students. And I'm not going to allow video or audio, but that would be a cool thing to do in the future. And I'm not going to do anything else. It's just, and then it's just one point for right now, but I'm going to create the question. Okay. So it shows up here. All right. Now I'm going to show you how a student will answer that question. So it's a really good idea for you to go in and test these things out just to make sure they work. But I go to preview. And the question that I'm more concerned about, and you're going to hit start new attempt, is the one I just just added. And I want to be able to be sure that a student can, can add a picture to it. So if you see here, I've got my image media. Because I allowed a rich text editor, they can add an equation. Um, they can do different symbols. But I'm going to add the, the answer, which I, as a student, have already taken a picture of my answer and emailed myself. And it's on my desktop. And I'm going to go get that question, or that answer, I should say. Okay, where did I put it? I have it as the answer. There we go. So I upload my question into Schoology. So as you can see down here, it says, you are viewing this test quiz in preview mode. Your answers will not be saved and cannot be reviewed. So I can't really go do that and show you, but at least you know now how a student can upload the picture but you do have to choose the rich text editor. 
So hopefully that helps answer a couple questions with regard to Schoology quizzes. Um, this is not a perfect video, but I'm sure those who need it can actually use it. So thanks and goodbye.